today we will see about the uh, green function it, this is an introductory level lecture only we will see their application in uh, due course of my lecture before going to the uh, detail of green function uh, we will see about the integral transform uh, that is kernel uh, let us say we have a function uh, f of x uh, we want to convert f of x to f of y that is here uh, x is the variable we want to convert uh, y as a variable uh, so for that uh, we define your integral transform which is in integral transform which is uh, integral over k x y uh, k uh, k of x y f of x uh, dx uh, here this is the two uh, two variable uh, function uh, which is called kernel of this uh, integral uh, several transforms uh, here i like to highlight that the several transforms are commonly named for the mathematician who introduced them in the laplace transform the kernel is e power uh, minus xy and uh, the limit of integration are 0 to plus infinity in the fourier transform the kernel is 1 over 2 pi e power minus i x y and the limits are minus 2 plus infinity which uh, i have shown it here see i want to convert uh, this f of x uh, in terms of f of k so i have to uh, carry out this integral where uh, this uh, 1 over 2 pi uh, e power i k x this term uh, let me show this term e power 1 over square root of 2 pi e power i k x is called kernel kernel of the uh, that function the this process is called integral transform you may ask a question what is the use of integral transform the integral transform are valuable for simplification we we can solve any problem in a simple manner in uh, uh, in dealing with the differential equation subject to a particular boundary condition in quantum mechanics uh, generally we are using a linear differential operator uh, and we are of course we are imposing some boundary condition so uh, this will be uh, applicable to uh, quantum theory and we can solve the quantum problem in a uh, simple manner by using integral transform uh, the solution obtained is of course the transform of the solution of the original differential equation and it is necessary to invert this uh, transform to complete the operation the importance of the green's function is that it can yield the solution to inhomogeneous differential equation for any source. Uh, this is one of the important point. That is, you can solve any uh, any differen uh, differential equation which is having a, any kind of source in a simple manner. And when the source term is a Dirac delta function, the quantity of interest becomes the green function of the operator L where L is the uh, differential operator. Uh, that is, a green function characterizes the response of a system to the presence of the uh, of a point source. Uh, point source may be a charge uh, in the case of electromagnetism. Uh, so, uh, uh, this, will be, uh, this method is used to, to solve uh, for any point source uh, in a very simple manner consider the differential equation l f of x which is equal to g of x where l is the ordinary linear differential operator and g of x is a known function uh, and while the f of x is unknown function uh, of course the g of x is a source term uh, maybe charge or current density in the case of electrodynamics so uh, if the equation is of this form we are going to find how to, uh, how we are going to solve using the green function 
now we will see the construction of crane function uh, let us take our uh, uh, equation that l f of x which is equal to g of x uh, l is a linear differential operator now if you want to find out f of x because f of x only unknown uh, function g of x is the source term so f of x will pick up l inverse g of x so l inverse is inverse of differential op operator which is nothing but integral so uh, now you take the integral uh, g x uh, g of x x prime and uh, small g x prime t x prime uh, this is uh, this integral uh, used to, to transform the variable uh, x prime into x uh, the, uh, here the kernel of this integral operator is called crane function here this crane function is the uh, kernel of the operator here i like to highlight one more important point and the prime to coordinate represents the source term and the unprimed coordinate uh, represents the point under consideration that you have to keep in your mind now uh, you uh, operate this with uh, operate f of x with the uh, differential operator l then it will become uh, l uh, g x x prime g x uh, g of x prime t x prime so uh, when you are operating this l, l f of x uh, you must get the g x uh, g of x uh, that is only possible that is possible only when L G X uh, of X X prime is equal to the Dirac delta function X minus X prime delta X minus X prime. So this will uh, this integral integration that is uh, integral of delta X minus X prime T X. We know it is equal to one provided. Uh, x is equal to x prime so uh, naturally this will become g x prime which will uh, which will be exactly equal to the equation which we have taken initially uh, that is l f of x is equal to uh, g x uh, the integral kernel or kernel function is defined as as i said earlier a function of two variable here x and x prime that define the integral transform here integral transform is to, uh, defined uh, by this uh, green function uh, that is uh, as i said it is a two variable function x x prime now we will construct the uh, green function using direct notation which is easier to understand let us say l f of x I is equal to g of x f of x is equal to as i said earlier this is l inverse of uh, g of x now f of x can be written in direct notation that uh, i have taken this as a bra vector x uh, the meaning of this expression is uh, bra x get f is equal to uh, this is a representation f is uh, f represented by x uh, that is f of x this uh, 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 by, uh, from the direct definition this is a function of x so this bra indicate the basis of the function x uh, then which can be written as x the right hand side also x l, uh, l inverse g so now uh, now x uh, in uh, x f is equal to x x i have uh, taken as it is l prime and i have introduced uh, this integral uh, this is outer product you know very well that uh, the value of this integration is un unity one so uh, just we are introducing a unity operator which will not change our uh, physics okay uh, now i now we can uh, rewrite this as x l uh, l inverse x prime uh, g of x because this x prime uh, comes here uh, the g uh, x prime here see this is pra x prime and g 
G, G get D. So this is the X prime representation of G. So that can be written, uh, written as uh, G of X prime. This term in the red colored term uh, Dirac notation can be written as G X prime. Uh, so now uh, your new relation is f of x is equal to integral uh, t x prime x uh, l inverse x prime g x uh, x prime this is from the uh, dirac notation uh, that is a g uh, as i said g rep represented by x prime finally we arrived with this uh, expression that is f of x is equal to integral uh, t x prime uh, bra x l prime x prime g uh, g of x prime uh, now uh, by definition uh, the x l prime x prime is uh, nothing but uh, g of x x prime uh, that is a green function so your integral will become g x of x of uh, g of x x prime g x prime t x prime now you take uh, differential operator both uh, left hand side and right hand side so this will become l g uh, g of x x prime uh, g of x prime t x prime which is equal to uh, g uh, g of x here this is l uh, g of uh, l x uh, x prime uh, must be equal to uh, dirac delta function uh, that is uh, delta x minus x prime so uh, delta x integral over delta x x prime uh, into t x prime is 1 we know uh, provided uh, this x is equal to x prime so uh, that is uh, g x prime will become g x uh, so this is the uh, transform uh, from uh, variable x to x prime now we will see the Poisson equation uh, as an example to solve the uh, Poisson equation using the green function. Uh, that is a solution to Poisson equation. Uh, you know the Poisson equation uh, delta squared, uh, del squared uh, f of r which is equal to g of r. Here in electromagnetic theory the Poisson equation is del squared pi is equal to uh, minus rho by epsilon naught some constant so uh, uh, right now you take this is uh, just g uh, g of r it is in uh, three dimensional laplacian operator so uh, so far we have uh, considered only one dimensional now we are considering th three dimension uh, f of r tends to g zero as R tends to infinite. This is one of the boundary conditions. This is a, a linear differential operation. So f of r is equal to because it's a three-dimensional one. We are uh, integrating the, uh, this over t uh, three r prime uh, g three. Three represents uh, three uh, three-dimensional one. Uh, g three of r r prime g r prime uh, and uh, we know that uh, del squared, this uh, subscript R indicate uh, differentiation with respect to uh, differential operator with respect to R. Del squared, uh, del squared G, uh, G3 R R prime is equal to delta 3 uh, R minus R prime. This is the standard uh, so solution for uh, delta squared G3. Uh, and also we know very well that uh, g3 r of g3 of r of r prime is equal to 1 over 4 pi uh, r uh, minus r prime modulus so uh, the, this can be taken as a uh, distance between source and the point under consideration so naturally the fr f of r is equal to integral if you substitute this uh, g3 r of r of g3 of r r r, r prime we can uh, write uh, we can replace that by 1 over 4 pi r minus modulus of r minus r prime uh, then this expression will become f of r is equal to uh, integral t3 r prime uh, 
जी आर प्राइम ओवर फोर बाई आर माइनस आर नॉट मॉटलस सो दिस इज अवर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन इफ यू क्लोजली लुक इन टू द एक्सप्रेशन इट्स लुक लाइक कूलम्स ला लुक लाइक नॉट लुक लाइक इट्स कूलम्स ला विथ समेशन दिस इंटेग्रल इज इक्वल टू द समेशन ओवर स्मॉल वॉल्यूम Now we arrived with this expression f of r, which which is equal to integral uh, t3 r prime uh, g of r prime uh, divided by 4 by f, uh, 4 by r minus r prime modulus. Uh, now you replace f of r by pi of r uh, from the Poisson expression, which is equal to uh, rho pi epsilon naught. So this will become Uh, pi uh, pi of r is equal to integral uh, t3 r prime uh, rho uh, rho r prime uh, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught modulus of r minus r prime. This is nothing but our uh, familiar Coulomb's law. Of course, we are uh, uh, summing over uh, the entire volume. So uh, with this, I will I will conclude this lecture. Thank you very much for watching my video and continuously supporting me. Uh, if uh, there is, uh, uh, please uh, enter your command in command box so that I can uh, improve my lecture in future.